Retreat Assist, or lease for only $269 a month. More excitement. More adventure. More tunes. More versatility. America's most exciting lineup is at your local Nissan store now. And now's the best time to get yours. Choose from 14 models with 0% APR financing for up to 60 months. Or lease the 38 MPG Highway Altima, just $189 per month. Get to Nissan now. Hurry, event ends March 31st. Shop ChooseNissan.com. Innovation that excites. We're marking them down for slam dunk savings on over 200 new Chevys. You'll save more during Chevy Madness at Uptrain Weston in Peoria. Like 40 new Equinoxes in stock, drive one home for just $22.5. do not miss Chevy Madness at Uptrain Weston in Peoria. 50 new Malibu's priced to move this week at Uptrain Chevy in Washington. From WMED 31, this is your forecast first. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Rachel Kay. A beautiful sunny day out there. A little bit more cloud cover starting to build in right now. You can see that on Storm Tracker, but we are still dry. Clear in Peoria, we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight. Lows, we've got a chilly night ahead of us. You can see we're already dropping into those 30s, 35 in Peoria, 33 in Bloomington. We will start off tomorrow morning well below freezing. We're looking at the upper 20s overnight. More sunshine tomorrow will bring us to the low to mid 40s. A cooler day tomorrow will tell you when things warm up coming up. But first, your news starts right now. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 10. Lawmakers from Illinois are looking to change the way FEMA hands out emergency funds after disaster strikes. A look at the bipartisan effort underway in Washington. Plus, terror in the land of Lincoln, the latest on two men accused of supporting ISIS and plotting an attack in our state. November 17, 2013, a day that will never be forgotten in central Illinois. They were bringing residents out injured and, uh, sorry, and uh, we slowed them in pickup trucks, and uh, I could see the devastation of the homes behind the Georgetown uh, Commons. An EF4 tornado ripped across several counties, leaving three dead and more than 120 injured. He lost two homes. He owned homes side by side, and his wife on 1117 is how he put it. Uh, but our hearts go out to, to them. The tornadoes caused hundreds of millions of dollars in damage. And in the wake of the November 2013 tornadoes, while residents were getting disaster aid, local governments in central Illinois were fighting with FEMA to get financial help necessary to rebuild. And that fight continues today, but this time, Illinois Congressional Delegation is working to reform the disaster declaration process. Republicans joined Democrats to call for change. U.S. Senator Dick Durbin saying, we don't know when the next severe weather event will strike, but we should be able to count on the federal government to provide assistance when it does. And U.S. Senator Mark Kirk is saying communities like Washington, Illinois, that have been devastated by natural disasters should not be ineligible for aid just because FEMA's methodology is outdated. WMBD's Eugene Daniel joins us now in studio. And Eugene, how could this impact our local communities? Well, Maria, lawmakers call it the Fairness in Federal Disaster Declarations Act. The bill asked to change the way the government determines what communities qualify for aid, and they say the current formula is flawed. And if they have their way, communities like Washington should receive much needed relief. If you drive around Washington, it's hard to imagine how these communities looked just over a year ago. The city spent weeks and a lot of money clearing debris alone. Could you imagine? looking behind us here how much we've accomplished if we would have left that debris lay. It wasn't an option for Mayor Gary Manier. Besides, almost everyone assumed FEMA would help ease city cost, but the government said no. What does it take uh, to trigger the FEMA formula? The big problem, combined damage of all counties hit by the November 2013 tornadoes was lower than $17 million, the required amount for FEMA aid. FEMA bases the threshold on how many people live in that state, which arguably makes getting aid more likely for communities in lower populated states. A lot of them qualified because they didn't have that population in Chicago, so uh, it, it just is a little bit out of balance. Lawmakers want more weight on local damage assessments, giving communities like Washington at least a shot at funding. We're probably a little close to $13 million what we paid out, uh, you know, that we we're hoping to get reimbursed, and uh, unfortunately we did, but it wasn't by FEMA. 
And to be clear, FEMA did provide personal relief to homeowners, but not for local municipalities. The bill would be retroactive to include all storms since 2012. Manier thinks that's great because he's not sure if state funding will cover all of the costs. He says what's most important is that if and when disaster strikes again, other communities will not have to go through the frustration of being denied by the federal government. Eugene thinks, well, after months of negotiating, lawmakers came to an agreement on fixing this year's budget. The Senate passed a bill that Governor Bruce Browner signed earlier today. Every agency had its budget cut by two and a quarter percent, and that includes a $150 million cut to education, something education advocates say shortchanges the state's kids. What concerns us is that it's going to be programmatic in, uh, cuts. It's going to be cuts to uh, personnel. Uh, we don't know in a lot of districts how the, the school boards are going to approach this. The fix also takes millions from state road and conservation funds. The total bill fills in $1.3 billion of a deficit. That hole came after the income tax increase expired. In Washington, Congressman Aaron Schock delivering farewell remarks from the floor of the House of Representatives today in the Capitol. I was never more excited than the day I walked into this chamber six years ago. I leave here with sadness and humility. In his final speech on the House floor, Shock apologized for letting down his constituents in the 18th district and vowed to, quote, work tirelessly to make it up. Shock announced his resignation last week and hasn't responded to repeated requests for comment. His downfall comes from a series of revelations about misuse of public and campaign funds. Today, Shock only vaguely referenced the controversies that forced him to step down, drawing a parallel to one of his predecessors, Abraham Lincoln. His last day in office, March 31st. A family members reacting to allegations their relatives plan to join terrorist forces. One of them, a member of the National Guard. WMBD's Matt Porter has more about the two men involved. The two men, Hassan and Jonas Edmonds, were both from Aurora. Hassan Edmonds was a supply officer for a National Guard base in Joliet. Now, I spoke with the National Guard spokesman at the headquarters today. They said they were surprised that one of their own members could leave to join the enemy. That there was no indication that, uh, that, that this would, would, uh, would come. In. When National Guard Specialist Hassan Edmonds was arrested allegedly heading to join ISIS forces, the guards said there was no indication he was planning to turn against his country. This is one solitary individual out of 10,000 soldiers in the Illinois Army National Guard and an additional 3,000 airmen. Edmonds was arrested with his cousin Jonas, who investigators say may have been planning an attack in the United States. The National Guard would not go into details. This is an ongoing uh, federal investigation, and we're not going to do anything that might uh, damage the integrity. Family members in Aurora were surprised. Mom, that is sad. Because Hassan was really, really a, just a little shy, quiet boy. Shocked at the allegations in the news. He was going to join the service. He, he wanted to be in the military to get a trade. He was always a quiet nice kid you know both of them i can't believe that both men have been charged in federal court if found guilty they could face up to 15 years in prison and up to two hundred fifty thousand dollars in fines in springfield map quarter wmbd 31 news developing news tonight a teenager has been arrested for wednesday's shooting that injured one man a 16 year old boy was arrested on charges of aggravated battery unlawful use of a weapon mob action with injury and resisting police. The shooting happened near the intersection of Peoria and Arcadia, but the victim was found a block away on Archer. That victim was shot in the leg. No other details being released because the suspect is a juvenile. An update now about a burglary in Bloomington. Police say two teenagers targeted a home in the 2400 block of Timberview Drive Wednesday after seeing a message posted on social media that the homeowners would be on vacation. Since the homeowners had not left yet, it allowed them to catch the pair in the act. Police say it's a good reminder to not post personal information about vacation plans on social media or other places that could leave you vulnerable to criminals. Well, it's an intersection that has caused a lot of confusion in the Twin Cities. But even with changes made nearly a year ago, some residents say it wasn't enough. WMBD's Jacob Peklo explains how they want to make it safer. 
Tim Keller has been through this intersection too many times to count, and he knows it's tricky to navigate. I think it's the speed and the fact that the people that are stopped down here on Bun Street cannot see. There's a reminder, though, of what happened late on March 16th that will stay with him forever. It's just a matter of time before somebody gets it. It happened to be my son. The loss of his son is a big reason why Keller's attending this impromptu neighborhood meeting. I'd hate to see it happen again to a family or busload of kids or something like that. Alderman Kevin Lauer helped lead the meeting in his ward along with the police and assistant city manager. Since he was elected two years ago, Lauer has been pushing for this to become a four-way stop. We've had a number of fender benders and untold number of close calls probably, I'm sure. We're trying to use it as a reliever for Oakland and Lafayette as well as Veterans Park. This has always been a two-way stop, but for years, traffic on Bun Street had the right of way. Uh, do the traffic counts. We switched the stop signs around. Um, much to my chagrin, actually, I wasn't necessarily in agreement with that. Neither are those who regularly use this road. People go way, way fast down the road there. Just this week, the city took its first step to counteract the intersection issue, putting up this speed sign. It's a reminder to drivers of how fast they're actually supposed to go through here, as well as collecting data. I just don't know what the big deal is. Uh, why we can't have a four-way stop. In Bloomington, Jacob Peklo, Fox 43 News at 9. Engineers are already working on a study to explore the impact of how a four-way stop might limit accidents, but city officials say if it is changed to a four-way, they want that to be the final decision. More development in the Twin Cities. The West Bloomington Revitalization Project is helping the west side. The organization has had success in assisting residents with home repairs and the tool library. They're also gearing up to host several community events over the next month, including a 5K run, a walk and bike out event, and a community innovation fair. Project builds and community gardens are also being planned over the next couple months. Well, as this winter weather melts away, a roadway hazard starts to appear. Our crews are out there uh, working their best, you know, to, you know, fill potholes. Yeah, they're just about everywhere. Peoria Assistant City Manager Chris Setti saying though there weren't as many pothole complaints as last year, it is hard to find the hazard on roads his crew doesn't frequent. So it's important to report potholes in your neighborhood when you see them. If people have potholes in their neighborhoods, if they see potholes on the, on the street, we try to get to everything that we are aware of within 24 hours if we can. Now you can report potholes to the Peoria CARES line at 494-CARE or using the Peoria CARES app on your smartphone or tablet. Spring weather is on the way and so is an upgrade for golfers in central Illinois. The Peoria Park District approved moving around more than $200,000 to improve Newman Golf Course. Plans to improve the greens and drainage were laid out back in February after Leo Donovan Golf Course closed because of budget woes. Money is coming from a few different park accounts. This is the first phase of the project and there's no timeline to finish. Now, if the board chooses to move forward with all five phases of improvement, they're looking at a bill of more than $1.2 million. Well, some of our nation's heroes are running over 100 miles in 24 hours. What's got these service members moving quickly across the state? That's next, but first, Rachel. We have a chilly night ahead. We are going to drop below freezing tonight. I'll tell you when things start to warm up a little bit more coming up in your full forecast. College basketball's March Bonanza has become a crown jewel for major sports events. But it wasn't always that way. There was a day when only a handful of games were televised. Big difference nowadays. Over-the-air TV, cable options, and the internet allow basketball fans to see every game played throughout the tournament. Social media explodes during tourney time. This inside look at the big tournament brought to you by Ray Dennison Chevrolet Pekin. The ICPR Family Practice Pekin Kids Festival is back March 28th at the Avanti Dome in Pekin. Come out for a full day of family fun, including barnyard discoveries, fun on the run inflatables, and the rock climbing wall presented by Pekin Community Hospital. Hungry? Enjoy the family meal deal. A hot dog, chip, and a drink just $4 all day long. Tickets are just $5 or get the Avanti's Family 4-Pack for $15. Don't miss the Pekin Kids Festival, Saturday, March 28th, presented by ICPR Family Practice. Camping season. 
season is almost here, and what better way to kick it off than with a new RV? Pontiac RV Spring RV Super Sale, March 26th through the 29th, with over 350 new and pre-owned RVs on sale at one location. See Winnebago Motorhomes and catch huge discounts and factory rebates on major manufacturers like Coachman, Keystone RV, Forest River, and Tiffin Motorhomes. This week at Pontiac RV Spring RV Super Sale. Everything under the sun, Pontiac The first hybrid in America, a Honda. The first to meet the Clean Air Act standards, a Honda. And now we're the first to do something else, the Honda Dream Garage sales event. Right now you can get an amazing deal on a Honda Accord, named a 2015 IIHS top safety pick. The Honda Dream Garage sales event. Get a dream deal on an Accord with a standard rear view camera. Now at your Honda dealer. The Storm Tracker Skycam Network, brought to you by Barker Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. Now, your local weather authority, WMBD 31 meteorologist Rachel Kay. So we've had this system tracking to our west earlier today, and I said we were going to stay dry. It looks on Storm Tracker on the bigger picture like we've got a little bit of some rain showers and flurries working their way into our area. But actually, if we take a closer look at the sweeping radar, you can see we're dry here at the surface. A little bit of cloud cover building in, yes, but any sort of snowflakes or rain staying up there in the clouds, so radar just picks up on that. But we are dry here across central Illinois. We are dry on our sky cam right now. Little cool out there. We're going to see cooler temperatures start to work their way into the area 30 in Galesburg right now, but here in central Illinois, we're going to see cooler air sinking in because of these northerly winds. You can see a little bit calmer winds than what we were seeing earlier today, but still about 10 miles per hour and coming from the north. We really actually have some more Arctic air sinking into our area. You can see those areas of purple up in Wisconsin 27 in Minneapolis right now. So this colder air unfortunately is going to keep working its way in our direction over the next couple of days, 35 in Peoria right now. But as we go throughout the overnight hours, we're going to drop below freezing. If you have anything that you've planted outdoors, maybe bring it back in. We're not quite there yet. We're still hitting this freezing mark about 27, 28 degrees for our lows across the area. As you start off tomorrow morning with these winds, we are worried about wind chill. We're going to be cool to start the day. Not a great day to walk your dog early in the morning. We're going to have wind chills feeling like the low 20s, feeling like the teens for some of us, 17 in Kiwani and Galesburg. That's around 7, 730 tomorrow morning, so it will be a chilly start, but we're going to have lots of sunshine tomorrow, similar to what we saw today. Winds will pick up as we go throughout the afternoon, but we should be around the upper 30s by around 1 tomorrow afternoon. Highs in the low 40s. So a little bit cooler than what we're seeing today, but still nice and sunny. Let's take a look at this on future track. You can see tomorrow morning we're starting off with these partly cloudy skies. Chance, slight chance for some flurries off to our east. This is coming with the northerly winds off of Lake Michigan, but I think for central Illinois we should stay dry. That will click quickly work its way out and we'll see plenty of sunshine for the afternoon hours tomorrow and then heading into the weekend Saturday morning around 9 a.m. Lots of sunshine, some cloud cover to our west, but that looks like it's going to stay out of our area. Going throughout the day Saturday, not really any cloud cover working its way in, so it's going to be a nice dry, sunny day. 8 p.m. still looking clear as a bell, but as we head into Saturday night, early Sunday morning, cloud cover building ahead of this next system. So here we are around 10 a.m. Sunday. You can see some rain working its way through. We're not talking about thunderstorms, just some light showers, and you can see pretty short lived that will work its way through quickly. We'll be tracking the timing. This might come a little bit later in the day Sunday, not quite so early as future tracks picking up on the models are a little differing on that timing. In terms of temperatures for the weekend, it's not going to be too bad. We're going to hit the mid 40s on Saturday. Calm winds for a change. We've been breezy out there lately and on Sunday with the rain working its way through, we will be warmer. We're going to hit the low to mid 50s on Sunday. Heading into next week, though, temperatures really bumping back up for some nice spring like weather that I think we are all looking forward to. We're talking maybe more like it feels like mid spring out there instead of this early spring freezing overnight that we've been dealing with. I think next week we're going to hit highs in the mid 60s for Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, bringing in another chance of showers, but warmer temperatures sticking around, I think. The sunshine helped today. It was nice outside for a while, yes. so that was good. And we actually had a high of 50 today with the sunshine. Yeah, so. you could definitely feel that, that warm up, so yeah, and much appreciated. More it's, of that ahead, I think. It's kind of like we have one more day in the work week left. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit cooler. But you get the weekend, take the weekend and relax, and then and the next, next week, week you start out and it's going to be a lot warmer, right? There you go. So a good start next week. Being positive. All right. Thanks, Rachel.
legends of Broadway leaving their mark on the Twin Cities. How they're helping the next generation of actors after the break. Introducing bundle deals only at Furniture Row. You buy a sofa or a sectional, add two accent chairs and save 50 bucks. Add a love seat, save 50 bucks. How much you save is up to you. And you can get bundle deals on dining and bedroom furniture too. Only at Furniture Row. For beauty, insulation, and safety, choose the garage door that's right for your home. I'm Andy Sheets with Overhead Door Company. Please contact us for help with your garage door. And find out more information online with ciproud.com professional advice. The stage is set for a cavalcade of unbeatable values at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's our moment to shine and your big chance to knock down incredible savings on the top brands. Save 190 bucks on this Champion Generator, now $399. This Wayne submersible sump pump is priced at $139.99. And a four-foot fluorescent shop light from the Designer's Edge, only $899. Don't miss your big chance for savings right now at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. If data is everywhere on your farm these days, why are insights still so hard to come by? Shouldn't it be easier to know what's happening in each field and make the best decisions? Data alone can't provide the answers, but data science can. That's why Climate Pro uses data science to turn all that data into something you and your trusted advisors can actually use, no matter where you are. Learn how Climate Pro can support your decisions with data science. Contact your dealer. Hey. What's for dinner tonight? Now at Subway Restaurants, you can get any two or more foot-long subs with your choice of crisp veggies and freshly baked bread for only $6 each every day after 4 p.m. and all day Sunday. Yup, only 6 bucks each. Subway, eat fresh. Denver Mattress, your Tempur-Pedic elite retailer, is pleased to introduce the new Tempur-Flex collection from Tempur-Pedic. Quality, service, selection, and value. And the new Tempur-Flex collection. Why shop anywhere else? Better tomorrow, start tonight at Denver Mattress. UFS, famous for deals on Adams Street, downtown Peoria, 10 minutes from anywhere. Good morning, Jennifer. Hi, Ashley. It's great to see you. We love Ashley. She's one of our regulars. Fresh from the oven. <laughs> At Kroger, we're family. And so are our customers. My mom always said, to have a friend, be a friend. Come back soon, Ashley. You know we will. The Buy 10, Save 5 sale is on now. Mix and match items like Marie Callender's pies, select healthy choice meals, Cheetos, and more. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Taking action for you. This is WMBD 31 News at 10. Getting from Peoria to Elwood on foot is no easy task, but the 169th Air Support Operations Squadron accepted the challenge. Team Peoria is running the 129 miles for the annual Tactical Air Control Party, or TACP, 24-hour challenge. TACP is a group that provides money to the families of fallen soldiers. The reason they're heading to Elwood is because it's the site of Jake Frazier's grave. Frazier died in the line of duty in 2003. It's a major, major reason why the participants don't mind the challenge. We're surrounded by our brothers here, and uh, if I slow down, the guy next to me is not going to. Um, he's not going to let me. Team Peoria has raised more than $16,000 for TACP, and the fundraising doesn't stop today. You can donate for another three days. We put the link on our website, ciproud.com. Some Illinois Wesleyan students got a taste of Broadway today. Students in a musical theater class got evaluated by Ron Raines, a longtime Broadway star, and musical director Don Pippen. Eight students from the class were chosen to audition, and the pair gave feedback about the quality of the work. Now, even students who were just there to observe say it was a privilege to see Reigns and Pippin work. Reigns says he always enjoys working with students who are able to absorb instruction like this. It's a challenge, it, and none of them are the same. So they all kind of take on their own uh, personality. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to the, the master class. I think you learn so much just from taking notes and seeing how he can help other performers because I will apply all of that to myself. Reigns and Pippin will be in the River City tomorrow night performing their show Legends of Broadway. That's at the Civic Center. The chill in the air isn't stopping spring sports teams from playing. Kurt has highlights next in sports. But first, here's a look at the day on Wall Street.
It's Ram Truck Month, and no one sells more Ram trucks in Illinois than Sam Lehman of Morton. Right now, get a new 2015 Ram Quad Cab 4-door for just $22,990. Plus, a Sam Lehman of Morton. Save $7,000 on 2015 Chrysler 200s. Or drive a brand new minivan for only $17,990 or $259 per month with zero down. Looking for a new Jeep? 2015 Jeep's now only $13,990 or $199 per month with zero down. But only at the number one Ram dealer in Illinois, Sam Lehman of Morton. Sweating all day and night with no end in sight? Get trouble free. Chilled to the bone in your own home? Get trouble free. Got brown water in your bath and toilet? Get trouble free. Don't waste your time and money with a dying unit. Call trouble free today. We use American made, professional grade, hard working machines. You can rest assured that our systems will work season after season with little maintenance. Call trouble free heating, air conditioning, and plumbing today. Our all star team will make you smile. Honda's the only company ever to win both the Indy 500 and a Supercross Racing Championship. They were also the first to come up with this. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event! Where you can get great deals on almost everything Honda makes, including the Sporty Civic, named best value in its class. Get great deals on Civics right now! The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event. Get a dream deal on a Civic with standard rear-view camera. Now, at your Honda dealer. The ICPR Family Practice Pekin Kids Festival is back March 28th at the Avanti Stone in Pekin. Come out for a full day of family fun, including barnyard discoveries, fun on the run inflatables, and the rock climbing wall presented by Pekin Community Hospital. Hungry? Enjoy the family meal deal. A hot dog, chip, and a drink just $4 all day long. Tickets are just $5 or get the Avanti's Family 4-Pack for $15. Don't miss the Pekin Kids Festival, Saturday, March 28th, presented by ICPR Family Practice. Do you feel unchallenged in your current job or position? Do people tell you that you're a natural problem solver? Do you just love to help other people? Do you find yourself naturally taking the lead when interacting with others? If you answered yes to these questions, WMBD 31 may have an opportunity for you in television sales. Send your resume and cover letter today at the address on your screen. WMBD 31 is an equal opportunity employer. Now, WMBD 31 Sports. The Missouri Valley trying to hang tough in the postseason with its biggest guns now. Wichita State and Northern Iowa no longer playing, but Loyola will play for the CBI title, and Evansville still playing in the CIT. Illinois State is already in the offseason mode. Players and coaches having end-of-year meetings this week, and then ISU turns its attention to 2016. Four of the five starters return to a team that played its best basketball in the final month of the season. When you look at what our team did this year and where we were at at the end with our schedule, how many quality, quality teams we beat in the non-conference, how many quality teams we played, how we finished the season, how we battled through injuries, uh, the success and the toughness we played with at the end of the year, uh, the way guys grew as, as the season uh, finished, you know, you, you bring that forward and again that experience helps you throughout the entire next year. Devon's going to have another year of experience, and Teddy's going to have another year, and Macau's going to have another year of experience. I think, I think, this, I think they're going to be real good. Deshaun Knight is one of three Redbird seniors graduating from the team. He says he hopes to play overseas next season. How about some uh, NCAA scores? Wichita State season now over in the Sweet 16. Notre Dame beats them in the East Regional. The Irish will play Kentucky for a trip to uh, the Final Four. The Wildcats beat West Virginia. Big Ten champ Wisconsin is through to the Elite Eight after a 79-72 win over North Carolina. Two minutes to go in this one, and it's 64-57. Arizona leads Xavier in the late game. That Cubs-Cardinals baseball opener just 10 days away. Cubs in action tonight. No home runs for Chris Bryant. In fact, he struck out three times against the Angels, but Mike Olt goes deep to left here for the home run. And a couple of former Peoria Chiefs in this highlight. Jason Mott is pitching. Albert Pujols is hitting. That is a three-run bomb to left. The Angels tonight beat the Cubs 8-4. Prep baseball this afternoon. Pekin playing host to Peoria Richwoods. Tie game going into the bottom of the sixth, and Shea Gossman's going to break it open for the Dragons. That's a single that's going to bring around two, but Richwoods would not go down without a fight. A single here by Drew Galassi is going to score Xavier Collier to make it a one-run game. That's as close as the Knights would get as Pekin wins it by a final of 5-4. The sun's out at Limestone, and so are the guns. Oh, boy. The Rockets hosting Richwoods in softball limestones. 
uh, roughing up the Knights in the first inning. McKenna O'Donnell with a bases loaded single up the middle that scores two. And then two hitters later, it's Lexi Trammell punishing this ball to center. Double off the wall, scores two more. Six run first inning, and Limestone beats Richwoods easily. All right, how about some soccer also? Limestone, the girls' soccer team playing host to Peoria Christian. Chargers already up 1 nothing in the second, looking to add to that lead. But Skylar Sievers, the goalkeeper, makes a nice save for Limestone not once. But again here, this time sliding to her knees. But the Chargers are winners 2-0 in soccer tonight. Briefly, Metamora, Princeville, Peoria Heights are other baseball winners, while Washington East Peoria and Morton win prep softball games today. And finally, 16 is the number of teams that started the night in the NCAA tournament. 18 is the number of gold medals this guy has. Michael Phelps, he surprised some youngsters at the Fort Wayne YMCA where he talked to them about water safety and we're talking about the sweet 16 and that guy's got 18 gold medals so i think he trumps us tonight a little That's, bit yeah not bad i mean he's done fairly well for america not bad i think would be <laughs> an understatement of the century yes eh, you know yes. whatever you yes. go to the olympics you win gold medals That's yeah. what you're supposed to do mm. awesome all right know. rachel has a last look right <laughs> after this this portion of wmbd 31 news sponsored by it's more than a car. It's a Honda. Hi, I'm WMBD 31's Maria Chandler, and I couldn't be prouder to call Central Illinois my home. Living here has given me the privilege of meeting some of the most amazing people. I've been able to work with organizations like Easter Seal, Special Olympics, and the Big Brothers Big Sisters. And I'm honored to be trusted to tell the stories of everyday heroes living right here in our neighborhood. Now I want to hear from you. What's your Central Illinois story? Paul Cicchini and Maria Chandler. Weeknights on WMBD 31 News. At Ostling & Associates, we handle bankruptcy and only bankruptcy. When you need help, call Ostling & Associates. There's only a $650 fee for single filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Bankruptcy questions? Visit our website at bcyhelp.com. An emergency bankruptcy can stop foreclosures, judgments, repossessions, utility shutoffs, court proceedings. Call Osling & Associates with 20 Illinois offices to serve you. Call Osling & Associates now and stop the collection calls. The automotive brand that more people search, buy, and buy again is Ford. Most search because Ford has the technology and efficiency people want. Best selling five years in a row because Ford vehicles are a great value. And most loyal because they're worth coming back to. That's because SUVs like Ford Escape have available hands-free liftgate and EcoBoost technology. Ford, the brand more people search, buy, and buy again. Get an Escape with 0% plus 1,000 bonus cash and 750 competitive switch cash or lease for $189 a month. Think Spring. Think Spring Green. Call now to set up expert lawn care for your home or business. Spring Green is locally owned and operated for over 30 years, which means our regular customers come back year after year. For all your lawn care questions, visit our website and Think Spring. Think Spring Green. It's simple. We don't believe in cookie cutter recruiting. As a local, I'm familiar with the depth and talent of the job pool available in this area. And as a business owner, I'm held personally accountable for our services. I work directly with our clients to pinpoint their specific staffing needs and quickly match them with qualified individuals. I take a great deal of pride in that our clients have the highest retention rate and the lowest turnover rate of any Pride Staff office in the United States. Because of Pride Staff Bloomington, we're committed to your success. Whether you need a small repair or a whole new roof, Geyer Roofing has you covered. Our team of professionals will give your home or business the look and protection it needs while getting the job done on time and within budget. We value your business and offer quality craftsmanship at reasonable prices. So rest assured, with two generations of experience, Geyer Roofing has the know-how to get the job done right. There are a lot of roofers in Central Illinois, but what only the best will do, hire Geyer. Get your free estimate today. All right, here's a look at your winning lottery numbers for tonight. Pick 3891, pick 43049. Lucky day 215, 26, 34, 41, and lotto tonight 2, 6, 14, 32, 39, and 51. And tomorrow is Friday, everybody. <laughs> yes. That's the good news. And everyone's looking forward to Friday. Before we get to Friday, though, we have a cold night ahead tonight. We are going to be below freezing lows in the upper 20s and sorry here's one last look at your eighth day outlook very quickly uh warmer weather ahead all <laughs> good. right good <laughs> that's good note to end on we'll see you tomorrow have a great night good night